What's up guys? Welcome back to another album review. I've done a music video reaction. I've done a song review. Now it's appropriate. Now it makes sense, right, that I would do an album review for Girls Day's newest album, Every Day Number Five. So that's Girls Day, Every Day Number Five. And you know, as I as I as I as I just operate with every single video that I make here, you know, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the rundown of what I like about this album, what I didn't like about this album. I'm gonna be totally completely honest, and then we're gonna open up the discussion to you guys. Hopefully, what I say right is going to get a discussion started. You know, where you guys can be completely honest with you, with what you think and stuff like that down in the comments below. And you know, you're gonna feel comfortable to share that stuff if you disagree or agree without fear of anybody being, you know, mean to you just because they disagree. So if that's like an interesting thing to you, if that's a community that you want to be a part of, that's what I'm trying to build here. So hit the subscribe button down below so that you can join the community and, you know, get the, you know, become a part of this of the discussion. So let's get into the album review, right? What I think about this album. And I mean, after listening to this pretty extensively, I mean, I'm, I'm walking away with this with not really many like, I don't know, crazy or distinct thoughts, like, there's nothing in this album that's really, like, stood out to me, you know, compared to some of their previous ones, um, so it's not really anything, I think, as far as, like, Girls' Day and their career and all that stuff and how it plays into their career as something that's super crazy, um, obviously, as I've said, you know, I'll Be Yours, their, their promotion song, the, the title track, it's not really title track, but the promotion song that they're using for this album is probably one of their best promo tracks in, like, ages right as, as i said it's probably one of my it probably is one of my favorites i would consider it to be one of their best since um expectation and i mean that's saying something because expectation i thought was like probably an awesome song also you know, i think is you know as the years go, go on and the more that people look that the further along that gets the more that becomes like a you know history i guess you could say old old music people are going to look back and that's going to be a pretty iconic song for k-pop so you know that's a pretty big deal i think to say that their their most recent promo song is going to be or is currently better and i like it more than what is going to be uh, their icon their, one of the most iconic songs that they've ever ever released personally as a group and of course it's going to be an iconic song in k-pop as a whole around the time that it came out so that right there is pretty significant um i mean unfortunately though as a, as a total package like the album just really doesn't back up that quality i think as far as being something that is like that that i i have a serious urge to listen to and that things stand out you know to a massive degree like i said based off of every other girls day album that i've listened to it's more or less basically the same where the promo track is something that is like very much different as far as you know feel and energy and stuff like that from the stuff that is contained in that so if you haven't listened to this album and you're going into this list expecting to hear you know one or two other songs that are similar to i'll be yours you're not really going to get that i would say the closest that you're going to get is probably going to be the song number six on this album called don't be shy it's probably going to be the closest you get even though it's not really that close in my opinion um, so that's just something right there for you guys to, you know, consider or of course disagree with. If you listen to it, you could definitely disagree with me and tell me otherwise, right? I would love to get a, you know, discussion about that going, but you know, despite the fact that, you know, I listen to this and I'm like this, as far as it being a, another installment in their career, isn't anything groundbreaking or amazing. I mean, I still really, really like the album, um, thirsty, is a really good song i like it a lot probably of course this I, mean, I don't know i mean it's i would say compared to like every other song on this album it's super they're all really like com comparable as far as like the quality and how much i actually like them so i can't really pick one above the other but you know thirsty is the one that stands out to me as you know just i guess obviously in the track progression since it's number two is the obvious one to follow with i'll be yours which is the first song on the album just because it, it, it again is similar to be similar similarly like a you know pop styled kind of song if if that makes any sense right like the the style the sound and the the energy level and all of that stuff is you know more more or less you know related to I'll Be Yours and then you get into stuff that's more you know ballad kind of stuff and the or vocal based stuff which again is really what it seems to happen with a lot of the Girls Day albums which I don't hate I don't hate that at all. I think it's actually really nice. It shows, you know, that 
you know, they have a relatively wide range of abilities as a group. The one thing on this album though that does stand out, and I guess I guess the one thing that I would say make makes this a significant change from any of their other songs, right? Other than just the general or any of their other albums, other than just the general feel of the entire album, is the fact that you've got two songs on this album that are solo songs for both Sojin and Mina as well. So those are that's that's significant because is to my knowledge they've never had solo songs on their albums before i might be wrong about that i might be misremembering that but i don't think that that's really the case so that is different that's giving you of course a little taste of what they can do on the solo side of things and it's really interesting so um kumbaya come here in parentheses come here whatever by sojin is really good um truth by mina is also really really good and I mean, I have I have nothing really bad to say about any of these songs because they're just all, I mean, really good. I wouldn't say objectively good because that means that they are good without a doubt and you can't say that they're bad, which people could. But I personally like, like every single song. I don't really, and I don't have anything particularly negative to say about it. So, you know, the thing, the thing that the solo songs opens up for me and makes me kind of want is, you know, potentially like, could we, is it possible for, for like green tea entertainment at some point, maybe this year, maybe next year or something like that to, you know, be possibly considering giving like Mana Sojin, maybe somebody else as a member of this group, a, a solo that falls outside of the 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 girls day you know um i guess package or group or uh dynamic i suppose is what you would really call it right so like these songs are on the girls day album so they have to the solo songs are so the solo songs have to um you know kind of fit the entire style that the group has gone with with the other songs in the album so they're they're not really i don't know fully expressive of what these girls can do on their on their solo career or what they would even be personally interested in pursuing as far as a sound on an individual basis. They're kind of just been shoehorned right, into or forced into what the group is is going to be doing, what the group is putting out for this album. So if like Sojin gets a solo release that is, you know, Sojin herself, right? Would that would that be something completely different than what you would hear on this album or as a more vocally oriented song off of a Girls' Day album. I'm really curious to, to hear that and see that because like, and that's and that's what this, and that, that's basically what this album has really given me. That's, that's what I've taken away from this is like, I would like to see, you know, some of these Girls' Day members go go solo, especially because we've already gotten a taste of it here, Mina and Sojin as well. I would think, I think that that would be fantastic because they could definitely go and bring us a completely, a completely different vibe. Um, you know, and I'm really looking to, I'm really looking at like inspiration and, you know, what I'm, what I would, what I'm thinking and what I would, would like and would want to hear from this as, um, the, the two solo songs or the solo album or whatever from Subin that was released a couple months or a month or month or month and a half ago or something like that at this point, that really is really, really different from the group that she is in. So, you know, any of these girls from from Girls Day could go solo and release something that is drastically different from the album. But you know, overall, you know, the rating, of course, as as I as I you know do in every single one of my my review videos, isn't score isn't based on a number because people are going to argue about what the number is, whether or not you know the a a, a, a album this deserved a, a little bit of a higher number or something like that. But I'll I'll tell you as my rating is whether or not I would spend my money on this. And, you know, I personally, ultimately, like, I think that I would, of course I would. I mean, I mean, I say this in every single review, right, that I would buy the music because I don't think there's any, I've never listened to an album really. It's not true. I've listened to come, some albums that I just have no interest in buying, but it really comes down to like, how bad do I want to own this album? And I can say like, I want to own this album, but I'm just not going to be killing anybody to, to buy it. I've got plenty of other stuff that is, you know, much, much higher up my list. So this is going to slot in somewhere maybe in the bottom, bottom 50% of my, of my list, which is a very large list of albums that I want to buy. But you know, that's not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's definitely is, is like, it's, you know, it's got me wanting to buy it. 
And of course, you know, at the very least, it's opened up some intriguing ideas and thoughts that I've got in my mind regarding solo solo releases for this group. So that's really all that I've got to say about this album. That is what it has made me think. It is what it has made me feel. I'm not blown away by it. I don't think that it's a, you know, super spectacular or remarkable installment in their discography, but the, the but the prospect of some solo acts from or the some solo releases from some of these members that are, you know, drastically different and super interesting compared to, you know, their their releases and their, you know, ability and their whatever they're constrained to as a member of Girls Day is very very intriguing to me. And that's the main takeaway that I've got from this album. So that's what I think. Like I said, I want to know what you guys think about this album and whatever. Let me know what you think, your favorite song, what you think about this album, what you consider or what you would think about a solo release from any of these girls as well um, at some point in the future. Just, you know, leave your thoughts and let's get a discussion started about this album down in the comment box below. So, like I said at the beginning of this video, right, if you're interested in joining this community here where we're, you know, fostering a place where you can, or we're developing a place where you can discuss what you like and what you don't like about Korean music without fear of people calling you names because just purely because they don't agree with what you say, then hit that subscribe button down below because we're trying to get people to, you know, rationally and, you know, civilly or discuss their differences and their difference in opinions in a friendly way that is what this community is all about so that is going to be it for this video as always i want to thank you for watching and i will see you all next time